Well, our first order of today is going to be for Chicago pizza, six dollars and fifty cents. It was going like four point six miles, but that's okay because we're right here by the house and we need to go that way anyway, a couple miles. So that's going to put us in the zone, and we'll start off today with a DoorDash order. Yeah, that's right. I was able to get on DoorDash. Y'all stick around, and we're going to see what else comes in. Maybe we can make some money today. We're already on our way. Well, it looks like Cheryl had a Big Jim pizza ordered, so it was actually ready. Let's get it over there to her. It, the car is showing 42 degrees. It was like 86 or 87, somewhere in there is what the car was showing yesterday. That's over a 40 degree drop in one day. Notice the, the long sleeve. Yesterday it was a t-shirt and shorts. Today it's blue jeans and a long sleeve t-shirt. We have a good grief. Firehouse subs, 10.1 miles for $6. How fast can you say no? Distance is too far. Man, I, 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 last week, no, it was a week before last, temporarily DoorDash had it where you just hit decline and that was it. You didn't have to select Y or anything else. And I sure liked that. It, it doesn't matter. You know, no means no. 6.6 .6 miles for $5.50. No. Let's get this show on the road. Hey, when y'all when y'all get started, do y'all 350? <laughs> oh, you can't help but laugh. 8.3 miles for three dollars and fifty cents Woo! but when y'all first start or before you get started on your dashes or working for the day do y'all I'm, I'm about ready to turn this off 6.6 .6 miles for three dollars but do y'all eat or do y'all uh, get out and work for a little while and then eat or does it kind of depend on the time of the day and whether it's a busy time of the day? The reason why I'm asking that is I just got started, but I'm actually kind of hungry. But it's um, about 15 minutes till three. So really kind of in what would normally be during the week, your slow period. So. I think I'm gonna stop and grab a bite and get on with this in just a little bit. So uh, y'all go grab some popcorn, a burger, or whatever it is you wanna do, and I'll meet y'all back here in about 20 to 30 minutes. How's that? Well, technically, I guess it's gonna be in about... Hi, thank you for choosing Sonic, I can help you. Hey, guys, could I just get a, just a corn dog? All right, anything else for you today? No, that's it. All right. Made a $10 tip last night, so I'm gonna spend a dollar 72 of it. Actually, you know what? Let's save that cash. So I get paused on DoorDash. <laughs> oh, let's see. 
on the way over here to Sonic, I got about three more orders and I declined them. So I got a timeout. You would think at my age, I wouldn't be getting put in timeout. But I'm young at heart, I guess. Hey, while we have just a minute, I want to uh, address something. And this is just a little tip for you gig tubers out there, or anybody that does uh, uh, FaceTime or any kind of videos or whatever, when you are recording, don't look at the flip out monitor or your screen on your phone or whatever. Mm -hmm. Look to see where the lens is on your device and look into the lens. Don't look elsewhere. Got another Grubhub. Oh, got a skip cart too. Let's see what's this Grubhub. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good one. $16.08 for 5.3 miles. I don't think it'd take that long to get this corn dog, so let's take that. That's a pretty good order. Uh, did we, did I see a skip cart? Yeah. $7.99 for three miles. Let's uh, decline that one because we're going to go get the Dickie's Barbecue. And I'm going to go ahead and log off of skip, or, or yeah, skip card. But anyway, what I was saying is, look at the lens. You know, because if you're looking over here, it looks like you're talking to somebody over there instead of them. So, that's just one of, I don't know. Just pay attention to where you're looking at on your recording device. Whether it's a camera or a phone or whatever. Just a little FYI. Oh, by the way, this is what I had to drink. They're not too bad. The, all these V8 splashes, it used to, I would think, ew, V8? Yeah, I'm not going to be drinking tomato juice. I wish I had some beer. But uh, not anymore. Used to, though. Red draws. Anyway, um, yeah, these, these aren't too bad. It beats drinking a bunch of Cokes and Dr. Peppers and what video up and on the way over here to drop off this uh, Dickie's barbecue got a spark order for $19 going 4.6 miles. Start it at uh, says suggested arrival time 3:45. Nine items on one drop and 23 items on the other. Easy peasy. Well, the GoPro started messing up and it's like just shutting off and stuff. And then they would say fixing files or something. So I ran to the house to uh, unload the videos that I already, the little clips that I already had on here. So I wouldn't lose them and see if it was working. And I formatted the SD card again in the computer and then I formatted it in the GoPro itself. So far, it's working right. So we'll see what happens. In the meantime, I got two more spark orders. Uh, one's eight items, one's five items. Uh, about four miles. Can't remember the miles, but just looking at these streets, not even four miles. Probably about two and a half miles. It's like $17. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I just, I'm, I kind of worry about the GoPro now. I don't, we we'll have to look that up. I've had this SD card that I'm using in this GoPro for, I think, around three years. I don't know if they have a certain time that they're, but you know, <laughs> if they expire or if they go bad after a certain length of time. I don't know. I'm fixing to look it up though. I'll let you know. You may already know. Okay, according to SD card dot, what was it? SDCard.org, it says SD standards based memory cards like most semiconductors, car, semiconductor cards store information in flash memory. The current technology along with a normal usage typically gives the card a lifespan of 10 years or more allowing consumers to upgrade their devices for many years 
and reduce consumer electronic waste. So, there you go. Should last about 10 years. Man, I hope it ain't the GoPro that's going bad. I don't have the money for a new GoPro. I'd like to have a new one, but I have to wait on that one. Maybe Santa Claus. That didn't take long when there's there I about, I don't know, long enough to look up the SD card. Five minutes, 11.39 for Uber Eats. What is it? Jack in the box? <laughs> Man. That's a good order though. 11.39 for 3.2 miles. Right it really ain't not gonna take us that long to do these spark deliveries, so let's go ahead and take that. Head to your pickup at Jack and make a left turn on Maplewood Avenue. I'll head to Jack in the take box the in just right a minute. Maplewood Avenue. Well, about 10 minutes. Yeah, I ought to have it ready by then. All right, got those spark orders dropped off. I'm heading over to Jack in the box. Hope they have it ready. Didn't have time to do a screenshot while I'm driving, but I got a grab up order for uh, 9.25, I believe it was, for 2.1 miles. It's from a very slow restaurant, though. That was the only thing that I was questioning, is because that restaurant's so slow. But I went ahead and took it because I figured by the time I get over here to Jack in the Box, drop this one off. Then it should be getting close to being ready. It's 5 11 and it says pickup time 5 25, so we got several minutes. Hope for the best on it. That's what you know, that's kind of what you got to do sometimes. Is you got to get you may get a good offer, but you have to consider what restaurant it is. That's why you need to know your market, know your restaurants. And, the ones that's going to keep you tied up for 20 or 30 minutes, even if it's a $20 order, you may have missed two $10 orders, which is about the same. I realize that, and it probably saved a little mileage on your car, a little gas, but I hate setting that long. I mean, I'll do it. I just, I just don't really like to. Consider your restaurants when you get the, a decent order. But in this case, I'm, I'm going to take a chance. It's still early. It's just now what, 5 12. So they shouldn't be too busy this time of day, I hope. But we will see. I'm hitting the Jack in the Crack. Jack's on crack. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, Jack in the Box did not have that order ready, but there was a lady that was coming in, and she locked the door, but she let me come in, and a girl walked out, and apparently the girl just quit. She, the other lady said that she worked there about three days. I guess she made up her mind that uh, Jack in the Crack was not her cup of tea. Kind of throws everything off kilter when people just walk out. But, I don't know the circumstances. Things happen. All right, I got that order. <laughs> While well, I was just stepping into the car, I got another order for, don't shoot me, for Baskin Robbins. Whoo! which is Dunkin Donuts here. Oh Lordy, let's hope it's ready. By the time I drop this one off, it's right there and I'm going right back here about three blocks for this Grubhub order. So, we shall see. Uh, Grubhub be sending me another order and I don't even have this one dropped off yet. Let's see, west what, Kmart Drive. Let's see what it is. Um, Panda Express, 16.3 miles for $19.92. What do you think? As Pedro would say, Kobe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's trash. Offer two low far distance, and that's a roll. Wow, I was just looking over at that Valero, which is a stripes. 379 a gallon. 
379.9 actually. Spark keeps going off, but they're little bitty sparks. Ain't no fires. All right, we are here. Ooh, a banana split. That sounds good. Hadn't had a good banana split in a long time. An Oreo layered sundae. I'll take the banana split. What? Banana split made with Rocky Road, strawberry cheesecake, hot fudge, pineapple topping, strawberry topping, Marciano cherries, and chopped almonds. Huh. Never thought about it with uh, like a Rocky Road ice cream and a strawberry cheesecake. I guess I'm old fashioned. I'd rather just have strawberry vanilla and chocolate. Put some strawberry topping and stuff on it and a few pecans or walnuts or whatever. And some bananas. I'm simple. Let's go get it. heading to Walmart. I had a spark water come in. One item, y'all. One item. Paying $15.88. Guess what that one item is? Give up. How about a 12-pack of Orange Crush Soda? Hmm. Whew. It's a lot of money for a 12-pack of soda. of your call, please stay on the line for an opportunity to rate our service provided today. At Walmart, we are committed to bringing you quality products at prices that save you money so you can live better. Your estimated wait time is two minutes. This call may be monitored or recorded to assure quality service or for other business purposes. Hey, thank you for conducting delivery support. My name is Santiago. Who do you have the pleasure of speaking with? Uh, yes, this is Brandon. To me, Brandon. Tell me, how can I have it today? Yes, I have a uh, spark order that I was supposed to pick up. And I got here and they came out and told me that the customer has already picked up the item. Mm, okay, I understand. In this case, Brandon, can you provide me the phone number that you have associated with your spark gun, please? 940. Okay, thank you so much. And also, can you provide me the name of the customer and the order number? Judy's order number three. Th okay, and just to confirm, you arrived to the store to pick up this order, and the store told you that uh, the customer already picked up the order by herself, right? Yes. Okay. So in this case, Brandon, uh, let me check here. Okay, just to confirm the order is for Judy's, right? Yes. Okay, so in this case, uh, let me check. Okay, I'm going to place your hold two minutes, then finish the process of close the trip for you, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for helping in the lane. Can you hear me, Brenda? Yes. Okay, at this moment I already cancelled the order for you. Can you refresh your app and see if the trip was closed, please? Yes, it cleared. <clears throat> okay, so that's it. A little recap of the calls. You call us in order that the store told you that the customer went to pick up the order by herself. We cancelled the order and you're able to continue receiving new offers and completed new deliveries. 
to Legit. He's a running to know that he can help you today, Brendan. And that was it. I just want to make sure that that order got taken out of the system and I got some kind of compensation for the drive. <laughs> yes, in this case, you will receive the show of it in order to arrive to the show. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Okay. Uh, at finishing this call, I'm going to leave you with a quick question, sir. Be that you can read my service. I really appreciate if you take the time to answer it. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for your tech delivery support. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, nearly 10 minutes on that phone call. All right, I have another Spark order. What was it? $26 for 5.9 miles. Two deliveries. One delivery is 11 items. The other delivery is 38 items. So uh, here we go. Well, it's dark and it's getting cold. 37 degrees and the wind's blowing and there's mist and rain. And I'm ready to call it a night, to be honest with you. I might work a little bit longer, but I, I don't know. I'll uh, put the totals of the day right down here, and we'll see what it came out to be. And uh, I really appreciate y'all's company, and thanks for riding around with me. Wasn't quite as boring when you got somebody to talk to. Sort of. Kind of. Anyway. I really appreciate it. Now, if y'all haven't uh, subscribed yet, consider doing so. And one thing you need to do for sure, you know what that is? Keep smiling. And keep dashing and dancing and prancing and just doing something. Because you're going to grow old if you sit around and do nothing. We'll see y'all in the next video. Bye for now.